Almira. A world Sorry, this is probably boring. That's quite I want to know. Thing. But don't worry, darling. You're still special to me. Next for you. Hmm. Who knows? Where's your boyfriend? Nice cottage someplace quiet from the Halley and I. A oh, there. Fire yeah. and a feather bed. Maybe. Maybe. But a girl needs some fun, doesn't she? Reform my ways. <laughs> How adorable. No, I'm afraid I cannot escape who I am and what I've done. What did it skip? Her eyes flick down to your mouth. She smiles coyly, then slinks forward to kiss you. Why? Sure, fine. Meets yours and devours you with predatory abandon. Somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you think you hear her voice sigh, mine. But then the kiss ends. Yeah, she tried to take control of me, didn't she? Something to remember me by, darling. Yuck. Just... Stuck her tongue down my throat, choked me out. Fane is reading a volume of Cranley Hewitt's fate. I see. Hmm. Intriguing. He glances up at you. Big empty. What do you guys think? Taking in every Should uh, we reload and see what the other one was if I do become divine? Oh well, there you are. Another fine specimen of your kind. A little leaner than when we first met. And a little less divine than you'd hoped, I imagine. I'm pretty happy you're not divine, yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Although I am happy I'm not As do I, it seems. Whatever that life might be. Fane looks back down to the book. A bony finger running across the embossed leather cover. Sure. All right. It could have been different, you know? I could have saved them. I could have found a way. I could have done more. So, perhaps could they? Yeah, I'm going to depart this one. Had they decided to live in peace with the mortals of Rivalong, maybe we could have saved them. But they made their choices, and I made mine. No, I, for thing you I imagine you can't. I imagine no one can. But the cards were dealt, and my people got snake eyes. Or something. I never yeah. took the time to learn how Cards got snake eyes, eyes. that's funny. Themselves. Then again... You are no average Rivalonian. Not after this. So, what do you think you'll do now that we live in a world of minute divines? Continue. I never thought I would Peace. wish for silence again after the tomb. But I rather agree. I hear there are some nice beaches in Rivalon, though. Fort Joy is probably mm. lovely this time of year. The skeleton hefts Hubert's dog in encyclopedia, its weight heavy in his hands. I've been rereading this book, looking over your history once again, poring over every detail with a new perspective, and do you know what? It's shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's boring. Fane tosses the book over his shoulder. <laughs> it in the air as it sails over the ship's railing. Oh, Fane, you cracked me up. Faint this is why splash. we chose. If you have spent your life staring at a thing, you can write about it with knowledge. You can write about it with love. But it is almost impossible to write about it with wonder. You creatures have spent your lives trudging about this world, and you've grown blind to its miracles. You mean Simply that to see the true beauty of a thing, sometimes you have to look at it as an outsider, as someone with fresh eyes, if you will. Yeah, Fane cracks Fane me up. Otters, for example. Energetic Otters, I love them. Cats, utterly beautiful creatures, or octopuses. Did you know they're secretly octopuses, octopi, o octopods? Oh, I shall have to look that up. Regardless, the world is filled with absolutely incredible sights, and who better to catalog them with the awe they deserve than someone seeing them for the first time? Any imagining? 
There is the idea that nothing is ever truly created or destroyed. And he talks a lot. I suppose we are all source, just in different forms. You being the cruder, less jewel encrusted form, naturally. Mm. But my people were source too. Although we didn't know it at the time. And our source helped create you. In a way, I was walking alongside the best version of them the entire time. In you, I found a home better than the one I was pining for. Thank you, Godwork. Man, that was a lot. Please talk to me. It gives me almost yeah, as she's okay. Hey, hey, I'm glad I will always be an ally to those that carry source, to those whose blood is of the heroes of old. And so, as always, I am at the ready. You look Go. out to the endless beyond. The sun's light plays upon the waves, just as it always did. The sails flutter in the wind, just as they always will. And yet, something is different. You are different. And with a start, you realize where you must go next. You speak the command to the Lady Vengeance, and another chapter begins. The world was at peace. Oh, I got an achievement. At least for didn't now. Didn't for the other one. I didn't. With its significance as the seat of divinity diminished, arcs fell into decline, and within seven generations had emptied. Few were as prepared for the new world as the lizardkin of the ancient empire. With power spread equally throughout the world, the advantage lay with those who knew how to steal it. And at this, the lizards excelled. Justinia returns to her throne. Under her rule, the dwarven kingdom prospered, until two years later, a jealous lover stabbed her in the heart with a mutton fork. Okay. With their power returned, the elves reclaimed their lands from the death fog and began to rebuild. Soon they would split as two factions sought power, one to bring back the trees, the other to bring back the scions. A dwarven joke did the rounds. It ends with the punchline, so Lucian dropped the death fog on them again. Only the elven god Woken could bring the elves together once more. And in a dark forest on the far side of a desert, well beyond the high seas, the Black Ring came together once more. The island of Fort Joy, the old redoute of the Source King Bracchus Rex, was turned over to the people of Driftwood to use as they wished. They turned it into a holiday resort. Reaper's Coast prospered. The fisheries returned, and the fertile farmlands produced the greatest harvests the surviving farmers had ever seen. Blood Moon Island became particularly fecund, its soil producing the greatest crops. A particularly crimson-fleshed orange grown on the island became a delicacy across half the world. The Black Pits took fire. The oil there burns still. Driftwood became a center of industry, trade, and transport. Loha became mayor, and Brayton Barnes grew rich, until, after a public argument over import duties, Barnes died in an accident, buried under several tons of fish, and also stabbed in the back with a gutting knife. <laughs> Yet 
your lizard lover from the Black Bull Tavern finally returned to the ancient lizard empire. Oh, right. There to found the newest and most popular of all the houses, the House of Love. Lagan left his over-demanding wife and began a relationship with a local bard. In the spirit of loving generosity, he returned the ring to his now ex-wife. Oh, that was the rage, dude we found the she ring. Threw it into the sea. You would never forget Dorothea's kiss. Dorothea herself Spider -Girl. left Driftwood oh. for the ancient empire, ever in search of the perfect kiss. She never found it, although once or twice she came close. The nameless isle had vanished. Although recap, only open it? water remained, by instinct ships would steer clear. None of the captains could articulate why. Millennia later, adventurers would come in search of the legendary divine city of Arx and the crypt of the great Lucian. None would pass the path of blood. So Gareth thanked the surviving seekers for their service and gave them their freedom. Disillusioned with the rising chaos, he set out alone to find a new purpose. He would never stop seeking. Young Han went into the theater and became one of the realm's most popular actors. Almira Mirror. and Mihaili settled in an abandoned homestead. The locals liked and respected Almira. She never wanted for help, and deals always fell to her favor. Outsiders were often suspicious, but no local would speak against her. With no new divine, Malady found herself in a predicament. She had an important problem to solve, but no ally strong enough to call upon and so her search continued. Having performed the greatest act of necromancy in history, Tarquin found the new world unchallenging. He became obsessed with rumors of another plane of existence. One day he vanished and was never seen again. With the source released to the world, Ahu the wizard spent more and more time as a cat. One day, he decided he would not change back. Jahan the demon hunter found himself at a loose end. So, he opened a museum of demonic artifacts. After it burned down, with Jahan inside, witnesses claimed that the flames were the color of blood. As the forests grew anew and the elves were equals at last, Sahela shared elven knowledge oh, of oops. source with the world. But He's some crazy. elves disagreed and plotted against her. Chief amongst her opponents was Tova, Sahela's own mother. As Source flooded Rivalon, Fane set out to record everything he could of this new world. As he traveled, he kept a socket peeled for signs of the Eternals, socket hoping peeled. to find the wife he'd lost. He's still looking. Sabeel wandered the world. She became a household name, famed the realm over as a traveling hero, celebrated wherever she went. Enjoying life to the fullest, she was truly and finally free. Losa returned to her music and enjoyed a storied career as Rivalon's premier musician. Dark moods would at times overtake her and she would spend long hours walking in the wilds. She always returned with a new song. And then, there was you. You returned to the world a sorcerer among many. Your future was yours to decide. Did you accept your new status with humility? 
Night, Yuri. Thanks for dropping in, buddy. Only you know the truth. Yeah, here's, here's a Jada pet. Catch you next time, man. Only you know if you atone for your sins. Mwah. Easy your face. Oh, these labs. All right, these are credits, yeah. All right, man. Finally finished. Infinity Original Sin 2. I love that game. That's one of my favorite games. Aside from that horrible lizard convent slave whatever and the puppet death room. The game is fantastic. Is that a thing eating a bomb? We're gonna let the credits play out. Because these guys deserve every bit of praise that they get for making such um, I don't know if I'm going to do the other ending because it, that was an hour over time that we normally end here. Not the dog. So we're just going to end once these are done. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. Um, let's see. What are we going to do? I was planning on playing um, the final chapter of Bendy and the Ink. I thought, you know, most times we beat a game and it's like halfway through a stream. This one is literally at the end, overtime technically. Um, I don't know if we'll do Bendy. Um, but the winning vote for the next game to play was uh, Original Diablo. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get that working this weekend. Um, if not, then I guess you guys will find out. <laughs> it didn't work doesn't work maybe we'll play some bendy and then i'll throw up another after that um but it would be nice to beat the original diablo i never did i think i made it no i've made it to the book i don't think i ever made it to hell the harpies but that'd be fun world of warcraft since vanilla Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I I bought the new expansion for WoW and I played it for like... Bummer. They, they've got me a few times. With the, get bored all over. But, eh. We'll see. My brother wants to play a lot. Or he's he's really... I had fun when I played with him, but game is too easy now. Too simple. Easy is the wrong word. It's too simplified until you get to super end game content. But that's not what I enjoyed. I enjoyed the leveling aspect. Uh, Divinity cured your addiction. Nice. This is a fantastic game. And for like only 40 bucks, there's so much content and the replayability is massively high. And the fact that they released the Definitive Edition for free is awesome. The GM mode is one of the best D&D creators I've ever used. Just everything is great. Larian's awesome. They're probably my favorite developer now. I loved Losa's song too. Kind of hoping to hit that again. I don't know if I'll... Uh... Like tomorrow, maybe I'll boot up the game and uh, record the other ending uh, endings, the the bad one that we got and the one where I become Divinity. And then I'll I, I don't know if I'll do that on stream, but I'll, I'll probably put it up on YouTube. If you Can you stop, bird? Hey you. Oh, stretching out here. The writing in this game is just fantastic. I think that's why I loved it the most. And the freaking pet pal. Oh, everything that came out of that is awesome. Oh, look at all these. Thank you from the developers. Like they're fan. Great.